this video, we're gonna look at some awesome new organization gear from Inline Fabrication. Gavin Gear here from ultimatereloader.com. You've seen a ton of inline fabrication gear here on the channel. We use ultra mounts in just about every reloading press story and a bunch of other gear as well. This time we're taking a look at some new stuff from inline fabrication. Dan over there said, hey, I'm gonna send you some stuff. I'm not sure exactly what's here in the box, but it has to do with their new rail and new panel system for organizing your tools, reloading gear, etc. So let's get this box open and see what we've got. Okay, so I got everything out of the packaging. Here's what we've got. This is the 48 inch panel, which works with pegboard hooks. And there's also these little key drop areas here. And then we've got the rail here, which is also 48 inches. We've got the small parts tray, the large parts tray, the case gauge tray, some lighting that we can put behind the panel. That should be fun. Peg hooks, we've got a couple acro bins, the, uh, the bin barriers, and then this is an acro bin hanger. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go out in the shop and figure out where we could use this gear the most and strategize kind of how to put it all together. Uh, I'll kind of walk through briefly that uh, installation process and then we'll see how this all works. All right. The panel and rail system are on the wall and I've got things configured just how I like it. So this was really easy. The holes on the panel and on the rail are eight inches on center. And so I have a typical 16 inch center stud wall behind the drywall here. And I just went ahead and used a stud finder to find the studs. I'm using, take this off, this hole, this hole, and this hole to hold on the entire panel. I didn't quite line up over on the other side. Uh, but that made it really easy to mount. You could also use concrete anchors or drywall anchors. I wouldn't uh, suggest drywall anchors, but maybe for a, a last position or something like that, it, uh, it might be a good solution. Uh, before I put the panel on the wall, Dan from Inline Fabrication sent me this strip light kit. And so what I did was I just adhered it to the rim on the inner circumference of the panel so that it would shine the light inward. What's cool about this is if we turn the lights off in here, uh, we can still see when we're walking around. So I think I'm gonna leave this on 24 hours a day and it definitely looks cool as well. You might notice that we have some overlap here. Uh, we have the panel on top and we slid the rail strip behind that and then screwed it down. So that enables them to kind of lock together Along the top, we have, you know, definitely room for, you know, acro bins and that kind of thing. I also found that it works great for something like a, a tape measure or even a, a utility knife. So we can kind of put those wherever we want. And then we've also got a separate acro bin mount right here, this little plate that we can move anywhere on the panel, which is nice. And the reason I wanted to do this was Typically I'll have some sort of project I'm working on. Here's a couple barrels. You might be adding one barrel and taking one off, whatever it is. Uh, it's nice to be able to slide that underneath the acro bins and the little trays. This is like a shell holder tray for reloading. Uh, so this helps you use more of your bench top and get all of the square footage of your bench top, uh, even though you want things nearby, which I think is kind of a nice dynamic for your work area. We've got the individual hooks here. I've got a single combo wrench. That's a common scenario. Uh, I'll have a particular wrench that I use for a bunch of different things. Maybe it's installing and removing muzzle brakes or a reloading press uh, adjustment, that kind of thing. This is a great place for that. I have this parallel here because I use this for leveling scopes with a magnetic level. It's kind of a uh, gun cleaning, you know, gunsmithing kind of areas, how I'm envisioning using this space. We've got a larger metal tray here. I like to use tin cans for kind of all my pencils and pens and your odd tools like, you know, your screwdrivers and, and scissors and stuff like that. We've got some cleaner here. And then I thought 
well, this is kind of nice to have a larger level here, a torpedo level. And because it's magnetic, we can just stick that right on under there. Now, the way all of these panel accessories work is you can use regular pegboard. I don't use pegboard hooks, but the, the system does interoperate with that. Uh, but you put these screws through the holes on whatever tray or mount it is that you're using. And there, there's these self-locking nuts. So these have the striations on the back that will grip the back of the panel slot, right? Where you have your little drop zone there. So what you want to do is you get these installed and you leave a gap that's just larger than the thickness of the sheet metal. Let's say we want to put this right here, for example. It drops down and then you just kind of hang a little bit to provide some pullback on that self-locking nut and that makes it so that it doesn't spin. That's super, super solid. So that's how things install and are removed. Just loosen two screws and pull it off. Some of them have more than two screws. This guy here, this larger tray has three screws as you can see there. However many screws you need, you just tighten and loosen them to move them. We have a lot of flexibility. We can get things just where we want them, which is a really great thing. So I'm totally loving this inline fabrication panel system and the rail system. We could make this 20 feet long if we ordered enough panels and rails, which is super cool. Here's what I'd like to know is, do you have the inline fabrication panel system or rail system? What are you using it for and how do you like it? Drop a comment and we'll start a discussion. Expect to see this kind of gear on the channel as we're wrenching on things and reloading. Totally love it. Thank you for watching this video. That concludes this video and that means it's time to wrap it up. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Also, we're on Facebook, YouTube, Rumble, where we've got unrestricted content, and Instagram. Make sure to follow us on all those channels. Ultimate Reloader also has a commercial solutions division serving law enforcement, the military, and the gun industry. We have some unique capabilities, including a comprehensive suite of recoil testing and evaluation capabilities, trigger profiling, and more. If you're interested in custom rifles like what we build here on the channel or gunsmithing services, you're gonna to wanna to go to rifles.ultimatereloader.com and get on the wait list. If you wanna learn lucrative gunsmithing like what I show here on the channel, including building custom rifles and Cerakote plus a whole bunch more, you're gonna to wanna to check out the Colorado School of Trades, schooloftrades.edu. Thanks again for watching.